Since football season began, some LSU students have been denied access to Tiger Stadium. Tiger TV's Roya Soros tells us that they've been turned away for a reason. Every student craves a night in Death Valley. The sound, the lights, and the crowd are intoxicating. Students who don't meet the requirements use another student ID to gain access to Tiger Stadium. Assistant Director of Student Advocacy and Accountability, Jenny Stewart, says this breaks the student code of conduct. A student must have his or her own most recent valid invisible ID, and that's been listed on the ticket for some time. This year, security at the student gate isn't playing around with this rule. But many students think since they bought the ticket, it's their decision on how to use them. A student wants to give their ticket to another student, then I don't see a problem with that. I should be able to give it to a friend or give it to somebody else who may want to go to the game more than I would. But Jenny Stewart says this rule makes the student section 100% student. We don't want to fill up our Tiger Stadium with fans of another team. We want our student Tigers there. And the student... The reasons for the rule, many students will try to get into the game using a different ID. This gate behind me allows LSU students to enter the football games. But this year, students are required to use their own IDs because of stricter enforcement. So what happens to students who don't obey the rules? Several things can happen such as probation, revoking ticket privileges, writing an essay, or taking a three-hour ethical decision class. Consequences are based on the type of violation and a student's history. For Tiger TV, I'm Roya Sorrells, I on LSU. Students with LSU ID questions can visit the Tiger Card office located in the Student Union.